nasa schedule nila. Alright, maganda ang topic natin ngayon. Ang topic natin ngayon is about scoliosis. Ang scoliosis, common po ito uh, before puberty. Uh, pag sinabi yung scoliosis, ibig sabihin po nito, it's a lateral curvature of the spine, yung sideway curvature. No? Mamaya papakita ko sa inyo yung spine na to, but um, ang, ang scoliosis po, it's a lateral curvature of the spine. Ma, nakatabingi ang, ang, uh, ang spine, kaya po masakit yan minsan. Um, it's a slow process, yan po na tinatawag na scoliosis. Very common po ang scoliosis between the age of uh, 10 to 15 years old. Yan, very, uh, between 10 to 15 years old. Ano ba ang mga dahilan ng scoliosis? Ang, dahilan, ang mga dahilan ng scoliosis, it can be uh, genetic, it can be um, uh, neuromuscular, uh, it can be, uh, you know, idiopathic. We don't know. We still don't know bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng scoliosis. Uh, 80% of the time, uh, 80% idiopathic, hindi po natin alam, 80%, hindi po natin alam kung bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng scoliosis. Alright, so yung, yung mga neuromuscular, yung mga postural, yung mga congenital, ibig sabihin, yung congenital, pinanganak sila nagkaroon ng fusion or nagkaroon ng uh, problema sa spine nila. Pag sinabing neuromuscular, ito po yung tinatawag na nagkaroon sila ng, ng uh, polio or muscular dystrophy or spinal cord injury yan po yung mga neuromuscular okay by the way for uh, rain cartel thank you dun sa ano uh, dun sa message mo sa akin now um the ito po yung spine natin pag sinabing scoliosis ang ibig sabihin po na scoliosis nagkaroon tayo ng curvature of the spine makikita niyo yung curve all right Yan po ang scoliosis. Nagkaroon ng sideway curvature. Nasa gilid or lateral curvature of the spine. Normally, may, may normal curves mo tayo. Yan. Ang normal curves natin, kung nakatingin tayo na ganyan, meron tayong cervical lordosis and then the thoracic kyphosis and then the lumbar lordosis and then your sacrum. Yan po yung mga normal curvature. Meron tayo, scoliosis, um, minsan mataas lang ng konti yung sh uh, shoulder natin. Normal na magkaroon tayo ng mild curvature. So normal po sa tao na nagkakaroon tayo ng mild scoliosis uh, dahil po hindi naman ito uh, symptomatic. Pagka nagkaroon ng symptom symptoms ang pasyente, yan, uh, pwede na kayo magpa-x-ray. Make sure you see um, uh, an orthopedist doctor or a medical doctor. Uh, to perform x-ray. Kasi meron tayo ang tinatawag na uh, minimeasure yung angle, yung curvature ng spine. Pagka nag more than 10 degrees yung curvature ng spine, ibig sabihin po niyan, may scoliosis na. Uh, that's a mild scoliosis. And then pagka nag progress na ng 20 to 40 degrees, that's a moderate scoliosis. And then 45 to 50, that's a severe scoliosis na. So x-ray, Yan po yung mga diagnosis na uh, ginagawa ng mga medical doctor. Now, ang ipapakita ko po sa inyo, paano natin isa self-treatment? Yung mga self-treatment sa mga pasyenteng may scoliosis. Yan po yung ginagawa ko dito sa RSRS Physical Therapy ng mga pasyenteng may scoliosis. Kasi uh, yung between 10 to 15 years old, um, kailang magpa-check up muna kay or, or before you do this exercise kasi ito yung mga exercise ang ginagawa namin it's a general exercise kasi I don't see you uh, I need to evaluate the patient kailangan makita nyo ang inyong doctor or your physical therapist para mag-guide kayo kung ano yung exercise kasi we have to know yung curvature so I don't see you I don't know your curvature make sure you see your local physical therapist they will guide you kung ano yung curvature nyo and then you can go back to, to my video para malaman nyo kung paano mag-exercise, okay? Kasi, depende sa curvature, alright? Kung ang problema nyo nasa right, ibig sabihin, um, yung convex is on the right, alright? Yan po ang may scoliosis tayo sa, na, na ganyan, ano? So, it depends sa curvature. So, for example, ang problema is the right side, 
tight to right side, okay? I'm gonna position this spine. All right, so ito yung, ito yung uh, curvature niya is nasa right. Ito ha, nasa mirror image type, for example. Itong problema ko, dito yung lower, ito po yung curvature ko, nandito. Yan, concave, kailangan. Pag mababa yung shoulder ko dito, ito yung concave, ito yung, uh, yung mataas na shoulder, yan po yung convex. So, ibig sabihin, mahina itong nasa mataas na shoulder. Itong, itong concave na to, dito sa side na to, ibig sabihin, kailangan nating i-stretch. Kasi ang position ng pasyente, nakatabi nga, na ganyan, nakaganyan, ano? So, scoliotic siya, ganyan. So, kailangan i-stretch natin this way, alright? So, explain ko ulit sa inyo. Explain ko sa inyo, okay? Pag uh, may scoliosis ang pasyente, nakatabingi silang ganyan, alright? So, ibig sabihin, itong side na to, dito yung stronger side, ito yung tight. So, tight, kinihila yung spine going this way. So, mataas yung shoulder na to, ito yung weaker side. So, ito yung stretch side. Dito yung tight. So, ang purpose ng exercise and physical therapy is to do the opposite. So, kung tight dito, opposite this way. Okay? There are two types of scoliosis. There's a C-curve. The C-curve. Alright? C. Ibig sabihin, ganyan ang spine. There's the S-curve na naka-S siya. That's the S-curve. Alright? That's the S-curve and there's a C-curve. Kaya you need to see your doctor or you need to see your, your physical therapist to guide you. Ano yung curvature nyo? Is it a C-curve or S-curve? Alright. So for example, ito yung tight ko. Mag-umpisa na tayo ng exercise. You just do uh, warm-up exercise muna tayo. Okay? Warm-up exercise. You just do rotation. You do that 10 repetitions. Rotation first. Okay, 10 times, side to side. Okay, after 10 repetitions on each side, you're gonna do forward and then back, forward and then back. Warm up exercise. All right, so 10 repetitions. Back and forth, 10 repetitions for the scoliosis. Again guys, ang importante po, malaman kung ano yung tight, kung ano yung i-stretch. For example, this side is my tight side. Alright? This side is my tight side. Now, number two, you're gonna do prayer's position. Alright? So, ito yung tight side ko, nandito, nakaganyan. We'll do prayer's position. So, you're gonna do this, Hold this for 30 seconds. You use this side to stretch going this way. Alright? Hold it for 30 seconds. And then back. Remember, you're stretching this side. Alright? Ito yung tight na muscles. Alright? Stretch again. Hold it for 30 seconds. And then back. We're stretching this one again. Alright? Three repetitions. Hold it for 30 seconds. Okay? That's good. Three repetitions for 30 seconds. That's number two exercise. Another one. Pagka tight yung side na to. If this one is tight, you can do the side plank. Alright, this is the side plank. You stretch your yung side na to. Ito yung tight again. Alright, this is the tight side. So let the gravity stretch this side. Alright, hold it. Hold it for 30 seconds. Now as you get better, you can use this arm. You're stretching this. Ito yung tight muscles. Alright, this side is the tight muscles. You're stretching it. Okay, hold it for 30 seconds. Make sure this side stays on, on the table or on the bed. Yeah, you hold it for 30 seconds and then back. 
Okay. And then stretch. You're stretching this tight muscles. That's three repetitions, 30 seconds hold. So, yan. Yan yung mga um, stretching. Another one, kung, uh, kung hindi nyo kayang umupo sa heels nyo, you can actually do this. Alright, so you're gonna, you're gonna sit. Alright, you're gonna sit. You're sh- kung tight yung di- this one, kung ganyan ang, ang scoliosis nyo, tight dito, you lean forward, and then you move your arm going this way. Hold it for 30 seconds. And then back. Alright, get the tight muscles. Again, stretch. Hold it for 30 seconds. Last one. Alright, back. And hold it for 30 seconds. Dito yung tight ko ha, dito yung tight, ito yung stretch na to kasi ang scoliosis sa ganyan, i-stretch yung ngayon the opposite side. Alright? Now, um, we did those stretching exercise. Last stretching exercise, you can do this in sitting position. Alright? So, ito again, I have scoliosis this way. Alright? I have scoliosis this way. Right, like that. Now, you're gonna do side bend. Okay, you're gonna do side bending, and then you're just gonna stretch this way. Hold it for third, uh, I would say, hold it for 10 seconds and then back. Five to 10 seconds, you do it 10 repetitions. Five to 10 seconds, do it 10 repetitions. Okay, again, you're stretching this side, 5 to 10 seconds, and then back, 5 to 10 seconds, and then back, 5 to 10 seconds, and then back, again, 5 to 10 seconds, and then back, all right, okay, so all this is tight muscle, all this are the tight muscles here. Okay, you're just stretching it. All right, we're gonna do strengthening exercise. So we're gonna do bridging exercise. All right, so bridging exercise. This one, you're gonna strengthen. This is a general exercise for scoliosis. So you're gonna lift your pelvis up. Hold it to three to five seconds. You do this three sets of 10 and then back. All right, make sure you're tightening your stomach. Hold it for five seconds and then slowly bring it down. All right, and then up again. All right, make sure you tighten your stomach. You roll your pelvis and then you go up again. Hold it for five seconds. We're gonna do one more and then slowly bring it down and then up. Hold it for five seconds. All right, you do this three sets of 10. Okay, so that's your uh, bridging exercise. Now you're gonna do the cat and camel to strengthen your, your spinal muscles. You're gonna, this is your angry cat. All right, you, you move your head, you tuck your chin, your, your chin, and then you move your pelvis going this way. You hold it for five seconds and then you do the camel or the cow lift your head up all right and hold it for five seconds and then do the cat again and then camel for five seconds so you tuck your chin you rotate your pelvis all right and then you go move your head again and you do this for three to three sets of 10. All right, so we're gonna do um, strengthening exercise again. You're gonna strengthen your back muscles. This is what we call the alternate arms and legs, all right? So you're gonna do, tighten your stomach, you lift your right arm, you lift your left leg, you hold it for 
two to three seconds and then back two to three seconds maybe you can do this ten repetitions and then back two to three seconds ten repetitions you hold it tight in your stomach and then back two to three seconds all right last one two to three seconds tighten your stomach all right so that's your strengthening program now you're gonna do the swimmers all right this is the strengthening program the swimmers you're gonna be doing alternate again arm and then the leg one you don't need to hold this two you just do ten repetitions if you can if you can only do five you just do it five all right two two three three four four then five five okay all right so that's your strengthening program now we're gonna do again we're gonna use this for strengthening we're gonna do um the y the t and the w all right ibig sabihin ito nakahiga tayo we're gonna do the y we're gonna lay down lay on our stomach this is the y the t and the, the and then the w all right this is the last exercise very effective to strengthen make sure you see your local physical therapist para malaman ko ano yung curvature ano yung mga dapat i-stretch whether it's your right side or your left side the principle behind this is kung ano yung tight yun yung i-stretch nyo all right okay all right, so we're gonna use, um, if you don't have weights, you can use can of soup, okay? So you're gonna lay in your stomach, and then you just do the Y. You can do one at a time, okay? Or you can start without the weights. You can just do the arms, Y, and then back. This is a very hard exercise. Y, back, Y, back. You can use the weights, Y, back, Y, back. All right, so the Y is that. And then the T, you can do the T. Make sure you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. And then back, two, back. That's the T, back. All right, last one. Okay, now we're gonna do the W. All right, so again, you don't need to use the weights. You can just do uh, the arms without the weights. The W is squeeze and then back, squeeze, back. You can do 10 repetitions, three, four, and five, and last one, like that. Okay. All right, guys, those are the uh, effective exercises for patients with uh, scoliosis. Very effective po. Um, kung sa tingin nyo nakatulong po ito sa inyo, uh, please continue to, to uh, follow us on uh, Facebook, share the videos, and uh, kung uh, effective po sa inyo to, share it to your friends, sa mga kaibigan nyo po. And please subscribe to YouTube um, para tuloy-tuloy po ang ang um, pagbigay tulong sa ating mga kababayan. Okay? So, yan lang po. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope na nakatulong sa inyo at gumaling kayo ng maigi. And uh, I'll talk to you.